here and uh, <laughs> it's uh, you know it's a nice stretch we've been in here weather wise yesterday not quite as warm as the day before but definitely a nice day to be outside and you'll be able to do that again today because the temperatures are going to be maybe a few degrees warmer not quite as warm as what we had Monday or what's on the way for Thursday and Friday like, like at 445 tonight exactly <laughs> well it'll be about 44 <laughs> All right, we're we're now at 446, Pat. You talked your way up through a whole nother minute of the morning looking at our three key things this morning. The beat goes on another dry day for us. We do have a sprinkler flurry in the forecast for tonight. Warm air is a rival uh, with the clouds and that sprinkle looks very minor. Friday, we are looking at showers. They'll be mostly around during the afternoon and evening, and we'll talk more about that. Out the door this morning, it's cold and dry. We're down to 22 in Taunton. Boston's at the freezing mark. Providence just below it. Smithfield's 26. This morning, Willimantic at 24. The winds are light. Those calm winds or lighter winds at least will be with us throughout the day today. To patch at one of our chillier spots this morning at 22, while Richmond's at 28 degrees. Looking at our live Doppler radar, all across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, it's dry. Your commute into work, no issues. Just that chilly start sitting around 30 degrees between 7 and 8 a.m. The sunrise now at 7.01, adding about three to four minutes of daylight each day here in this month of March. For this afternoon, we are looking at fading sunshine. Temperatures into the low Lower 40s along the coastline, a little bit warmer the further inland that you go as the winds this afternoon will turn to the west, uh, south. 46 degrees in Johnston and West Warwick, mid 40s in Seekonk. We hit about 43 yesterday, so a couple of degrees warmer in Fall River and in New Bedford and a little less wind too. Mostly cloudy skies for the evening hours. The temperature staying above freezing most of the night. And as I mentioned, during the nighttime hours tonight, we'll have a lot of clouds around. The temperatures will be hovering right around the lower to mid 30s, and you may get a sprinkler flurry that comes through. Here's the setup. High pressure is in control, keeping us dry today as that area of uh, wet weather that we're tracking over the Great Lakes moves our direction. It's going to run into all that dry air from our high pressure cell, and that's going to have a tough time making it to the ground. So you can see these showers, both rainy and snow, over the central Great Lakes today. Clouds on the increase out ahead of it, and there's not much moisture left by the time again. It reaches our area. So here's what we're looking at. Our forecast for this morning, lots of sunshine. We'll hold on to mostly sunny skies into the early afternoon, and then we finish the day with those extra clouds rolling in. Cloudy skies, 10 o'clock. Did you see that little flurry? By tomorrow morning, it's all gone, just clouds left over. So the more significant system going to be uh, this area of low pressure that will pass to our north and to our west. It'll bring an approaching cold front. By Thursday, we're in the warm air, so our temperatures climbing above 50 degrees away from the shoreline. Friday is the warmest day of the week, but here are those scattered showers. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. They become more numerous heading into the afternoon and evening. This is at 5 o'clock, so the trip home from work on Friday could include some showers. There's even the risk for a few downpours with that. We'll pick up about a quarter to a half an inch of rain before it moves out on Saturday. 46 for today, the high temperature tomorrow, making it into the lower 50s despite more clouds around 50 degrees at 2 o'clock, 44 at 8 o'clock, and we'll stay near 40 and even warmer as the night goes on on Friday. So scattered showers Friday, highs in the upper 50s for Saturday, still looking dry and like the milder half of the weekend, above 50 degrees inland. If you're headed into Newport, we're looking at 40s along the coastline. Sunday's high for St. Patrick's Day itself, sunny and near 43. Your full forecast on WPRI.com.